this video we're going to show you how to set up your DMSS HD light uh, application so you can remote view your cameras. This application works on all Android devices but only works on the iPad. So if you're going to be setting up an iPhone, we're going to show you how to set up the DMSS light in another video. So for the time being, let's launch our HD light application. And we're going to go up here to the top left and we're going to hit device manager. Now you'll notice that there's already a demo device set up in your uh, app. So at this time what we're going to do is we're just going to edit the device information. If you don't have the demo already in your device, click add device. It's going to bring you to roughly the same screen. So you'll notice that we're set up in P2P mode and that's what we want to be. That's the easiest to uh, set up because it does not require any networking skills, computer skills, or port forwarding skills on your behalf. So we're going to leave it in P2P. The name, uh, this is a name that you're going to give it. Uh, it could be home, office, work. If you have more than one store location, you might say store number one, store number two, whatever you'd like. Uh, you can enter any name there. For the time being, I'm going to leave it at demo. Your serial number is uh, perhaps blank, but you got this serial number from inside your DVR in the other training video that we showed you that you copied down. So you're going to enter that manually here, or you're going to use that QR code on your device to copy that, which will populate it here. Username. Uh, as you know from the factory, the DVR comes with admin admin. We highly recommend that you change that. So whatever you changed your username and password to, you're going to enter it here and you're going to make sure your password matches also. It is case sensitive, so uh, make sure it matches what you put in the DVR. Under Live Preview and Playback, uh, you'll notice that both of these are set at extra on your device. Extra means that it's saving bandwidth and it's going to be a lower video quality. Now, This is great when you're on a mobile device and on a mobile network. You might have some bandwidth issues, so leave it at extra. For this demo, I'm going to put it on main, and this will allow us to have a higher video quality for this demonstration purpose. So once you have that, go ahead and hit the save button right up here. Now if your device closes or your app closes out, no worries, that is a common thing, and just relaunch it. It's going to take you back out here to the live preview once you relaunch it. And once you're there, hit the plus sign. And we're going to just do one camera at a time for this video demonstration. I'm going to find the particular camera that we want to use. It's right here. And we're going to launch the camera. And you can do the same with the other four cameras. Or if you change your view down here, you can change it to more cameras. Just remember, it eats up more bandwidth on high definition settings. So you double click here and now we have a nice clear video uh, picture. And you can take a snapshot and this will save it onto your mobile device or you can record a video of a particular instance and it will save it to your device. This does not affect the recording going on inside of your DVR. So right now we're going to close out of this particular screen and we're going to go up here to playback. Again, we're going to add, uh, you can change your time. So if you had uh, something happen uh, two days ago, uh, you would enter your start time and end time here. So we're just going to go here to demo. Here's our device list. We're going to go back down to that camera. And now it's going to search for all recordings that took place on this particular camera. Now this takes just a little bit because it's searching. You'll notice down here at the bottom the timeline has been populated and these marks, these gray marks, are motion event areas. So I want to move it to an area where it has more motion, which seems to be this large area right here. So I stop it, give it a second to load the picture, and I'm going to enlarge this. There we 
we go. And as you can see, we actually had an event in place uh, uh, during this playback or recording. We have the popo out there, and this gives you an idea of what you're seeing. So you can again take captured pictures, capture video, whatever you like. Now this particular camera is a pan, tilt, and zoom for our demo. You probably did not get a pan, tilt, and zoom in your home recording, but this gives you an idea of how to operate it. To close out, we come over here, we click exit, and then you can exit out of your app.